Hello and uh, greetings. I'm posting a video right now because I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what my experience has been going from a, I don't know how you would call it, I guess a standard cooked um, vegetarian slash vegan diet to a raw vegan diet. Um, for most of my adult life, I ate vegetarian or vegan, and I would sometimes fluctuate between the two, just depending on whatever was happening in my life. And um, there was this moment a little over four years ago when I went to the doctor a few times actually, and I had some I've had some health issues. The first thing that happened was my white blood cell count was really low, which is a really bad thing for your immune system. And then uh, a couple months later, I, I had this headache that lasted for 30 days, no kidding. And headaches have always been a thing for me. So I kind of thought, I didn't think anything was weird until like the second week. And so I finally decided to go to the doctor. It turns out my blood pressure was so high. And I, I had some problems and my doctor wanted me to go on medication and I didn't want to. I, I really didn't like the idea of being on blood pressure medication, especially at such a young age. I was, I was only, I don't know, 30 something, 30 something, whatever. My age doesn't matter. But, um, I, I told my doctor, I'm, I'll take the prescription paper, but I'm not going to fill it because she was insistent that I take it. And I said, I'm going to come back and see you in 30 days. I'm going to figure something out. I didn't know what, but I came home and I started searching healing high blood pressure naturally. And all these websites came up and all these YouTube videos. And I found so many of them mentioning raw food. And I had heard of raw food because it was very trendy here in Los Angeles about 10 years prior. And uh, being a plant-based eater myself, I was very much aware of it. And it was something that I rolled my eyes at. And I was definitely one of those people that was like, that's ridiculous. Who on earth would eat nothing but raw food? And I thought it was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard. But then I kept seeing all these videos and I was like, okay, well, I got to try it. I got to try something because I don't want to take this medication. So I dove into it full force. I mean, not even like herbal tea or anything hot. Like I, I was really strict. Even the, um, like I was even careful. Like I didn't even buy any like bottled flavoring liquids, you know, like amino, coconut aminos or, or whatever. Like I was so hardcore for the first 30 days and it was amazing. So many different things happened and that's what I want to talk about right now. And I'm also going to tell you about how it's fluctuated over the years, or maybe that's not the right word, but how it is for me now. Um, in the first month, in the first 30 days, I felt immediately lighter. I, I did lose some weight. Um, I wasn't sure how much I was losing at the time because I didn't have a scale, but I could feel it. I could tell my clothes were getting uh, looser within like the first week and a half. And I just had all this energy and I felt lighter. Like I just, it was like I was tiptoeing on the world, on the ground. And, and it was amazing. And, um, I was sleeping better. I wasn't necessarily sleeping longer. I definitely experienced what a lot of people talk about, um, where I was sleeping fewer hours but it was like a really high quality sleep and I had so much energy during the day. So it didn't bother me. The only thing that bothered me was that I found I had all this like extra time and that was frustrating. So while I had plenty of energy to get through the day, I felt like, Oh, I have all these hours to fill. What do I do? Like that was kind of annoying. Um, but I've since then I've learned how to fill the time. Um, and, and I do to this day, I will sometimes get eight hours of sleep. Sometimes I get nine hours of sleep. Some days I get six or seven hours of sleep, and for the most part, I'm okay. Um, sometimes, sometimes I wish I had more, um, but that's more, I think that's more of a stress thing. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with the food. Um, yeah. 
But anyway, my sleep has gotten a lot better uh, over the years. And uh, another thing that I noticed was uh, the first in the first month, I felt like um, it was a weird feeling to, in terms of satiation, I was used to getting really, really full on cooked food. And like I realize now what that feeling was, was bloating. I honestly didn't understand what bloating was until I didn't have it anymore, <laughs> which is kind of crazy because I know a lot of people who are super aware of it. And I'm aware of it now whenever I feel that way. But uh, that's pretty much what I associated being full with. And when I started eating raw food, I noticed that I felt full, but not bloated. And that was that was a weird feeling and an awesome feeling all at the same time. It took me um, it took me some time to get used to it to understand that you're not going to stuff yourself could anymore because you don't have to. You actually do feel full, and I had to learn to recognize that like I really can't take in any more food, but I don't have that like bloating feeling anymore. It's it was it was pretty cool, and now of course I love it, and I'm I'm used to that feeling. So if I if I do eat a little too much, I'm like super sensitive to it and I find it very uncomfortable. But that was the thing I, I noticed about raw food versus cooked food is that the feeling of satiety is the better word. Like fullness, yeah, you're full, but I almost associate the word full with being stuffed and that's not how I feel um, on raw foods. It's pretty amazing. Um, I did eventually start to crave raw vegetables. At first, um, I missed eating, like, uh, I missed eating brown rice and tofu and, you know, Thai food, basically. I missed, like, Indian food. Like, I missed all those comfort foods and pasta. I missed all of it. Um, but after some time, I'd say after, like, a month, I got so used to, um, I got so used to eating it, I would actually crave the salads, and I would crave the um, high water fruits. And even to, to this day, over four years later, I still feel that way. I feel, um, I feel depleted if I don't eat like a full salad for my meal. So like now I'm at a point where I know I, I post a lot of recipes for like raw lasagnas and, um, you know, those like gourmet meals. And that's because in the beginning, I, I really needed to have those recipes because I was transitioning. And I make those to, to this day to share with people and also, I mean, literally to share with people in my home because I want them to eat food that they enjoy, <laughs> but also try raw fruit food on for size. But then I also share it with the world because I want people to transition into eating raw in a way that's accessible. But I'll tell you, now I'm at a point where if I don't eat um, a raw salad, a huge salad for one of my meals, I feel so depleted. I feel weird. I feel dehydrated. I don't feel right. So I can't eat those, like, I can't eat the, like, walnut sausage that I, that I make every day. I can't do that. That's something that I save for, like, a Sunday, you know, or a Friday evening with my friends. So I'm going to make a bunch of food for everybody. I'll save it for that. It's like a treat, but I can't eat it anymore every day. I've gotten so hooked on the way it feels to eat lots of watery fruit, like watermelon or grapes, um, even uh, apples and bananas, which aren't really like as high in water as the others that I mentioned. But I just feel so good whenever I, whenever I consume those foods and the salads. I mean... I just, I feel amazing. I feel hydrated. I feel like I have energy. I feel full but light at the same time. And I just, I, I have a hard time going a day without that. And and that happened, I'd say my taste buds, it, that took like a year to happen. That wasn't something that happened overnight. Um, so you can expect that to happen if you stick with it. Another thing I noticed um, is that my mind got clearer. I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I, I, had a lot of anxiety when I started doing this. Um, and the anxiety had a lot to do with the fact that I was at a point where I was starting over in my life. I was going through, I had gone, I had left my, um, I had left my ex-husband about a year and a half before. And so I was starting over literally. And I was on my own and I was 
I'm very scared and very concerned about my future and money and, and how I was going to just protect myself. I mean, I was living in kind of a rough neighborhood and, and I was very worried all the time. And what I noticed within like a month of eating raw food only, my mind just cleared up. I, I felt like I could really focus on what really mattered. And I don't know how to explain why this happened. I can just tell you that after being raw for a month, I started to feel optimistic. I, I started to feel like I can I can see the positive side of things now because I feel like maybe it had to do with the serotonin levels in my body. Maybe it had to do with the fact that I was digesting normally and so serotonin was being able to get to my brain, you know, because serotonin is developed in your gut. There's 95% of it is in your gut and we need serotonin in order to feel happy. So I don't know. I wonder if maybe that's what was happening because my digestion was so great after going raw and it was so bad before raw, maybe that's why my mind started to get clearer. And I just, I started to feel really good about my life. I started feeling inspired to do other things like hot yoga and uh, cycling and running. I started getting really active and all of my illnesses went away. My blood pressure dropped to normal. My skin cleared up, which I had always dealt with breakouts on my forehead and it they, they just stopped. I stopped getting colds. Um, and another thing is my headaches went away and I stopped getting cold sore outbreaks, which I would get a lot actually, um, which is a combination of stress and food. So um, still these to this day, like if I'm overly stressed, even on a raw diet, I could potentially break out. That's happened before, but it doesn't happen that much because uh, the food I'm eating is not triggering it because your food can trigger it, specifically caffeine and alcohol, which I don't consume anymore. And I really, I only recently gave those two things away, um, gave those thing, two things up, I mean. And, and what I've noticed over the years in periods of my life when I don't, con when I'm raw and I don't consume caffeine or alcohol, no cold sores, no headaches, no colds. I just don't get sick. It's amazing. And that's why, um, that's why I feel so strongly about eating this way and why I've started my Instagram page and my YouTube channel and my blog because, you know, I get really um, sad whenever I look around and I, I meet people all the time who are dealing with illnesses that are really typical in um, in Western countries, we have a lot of we have a lot of problems that are related specifically to our diets. Um, stress is a big factor, and physical activity or lack thereof is a problem as well. But it really begins with our food, and I feel like if more people ate more raw food, even if you don't have to be 100% raw, but even if the majority of your day was spent on raw smoothies, raw salads, you would heal so much. And, and that's why I'm, that's why I started my social media channels. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you because I know that whenever I was starting out, I searched on YouTube for everybody I could find who, who was doing raw food. And I wanted to hear their experience because it helped me. And so I hope that my experience here can help some of you. I'll definitely be sure to post more videos. This is just a start. And hopefully it's a pretty good introduction so that you can understand um, why, why I chose to eat raw, but also what I went through when I, when I first started, and also how I feel now today, which, as I mentioned before, the the only real difference is that now I just totally crave raw vegetables and fruit. It's pretty much all I want to eat. And a few nuts. I don't eat a lot of fat as well anymore, which is something I uh, progressed that progressed over time. It wasn't like that in the beginning. I really needed the fat to feel full, and I think that's okay. I think people need to understand that it takes a long time to get to this point. You don't really just jump into raw food overnight, or most people don't. It takes some time to adjust, and... Here I am, probably four and a half years later, and I'm actually seeing a point where 
I don't think I'm ever going to really want to eat cooked food again. I just, I, I'm at that point right now, and I don't see myself uh, craving it ever again, um, which is such a great thing. It's so liberating. So uh, that's something I just wanted to share with you guys. I hope it helps you. Um, and if you think it will help somebody else who's going through something and, and needs to make a dramatic change nutritionally, please share this video. And check out some of my recipes. I hope that they help you find some uh, delicious ways to eat raw food. And have a great day. Bye.